Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Every OPBR player has a dream to reach SS League in game, but that's not an easy task if you are a new player. But let me tell you, it isn't very difficult either. There are some aspects that we need to keep in mind if we want to reach SS faster than ever. First of all, the team you need for the League battle. The foremost task is to have a main team consisting of at least one EX or any legendary character with some good traits. If you want to know which character is good and easy to use and where they rank in the game, I made a tier list of every single character in the game. You can watch that video by pressing on I button you see, top right corner. Now if you have EX character that is better, because EX characters have invincible skills. Also, you need to create your team according to the elements. Like I have Gear 5 and Runner Kaido in my team. Also, a support team with the same element as your main characters. Well, I have created a detailed video regarding the support team. Link is in the description. Make sure to check it out. The more your support percentage, the better you would be able to play in the game. Now, we have to create our team and do all the necessary work before starting. The next thing are some points we need to remember when the match starts. You need to choose your character wisely before the match starts. Just keep in mind, every team should have one defender, one runner, and two attackers. If the team has four defenders, or four attackers, or four runners, then they are going to suffer against the opponents for sure. There must be a balance among your whole team. Now, if you have a defender, take the first flag and fill the bar. Stay in the flags and fill them up. Don't go outside the flag area until unless it's necessary. Defender won't die easily inside flags. Then, if you have an attacker, then take the second flag from your base. After taking the flag, directly reach the enemy to fight. Mainly attack defenders and runners. The main role of the attacker is to stop enemies from taking flags and defending them. Now, if you have a runner, directly reach the middle flag as you are the fastest in terms of speed. Being a runner, only focus on getting flags, not picking fights. These were some things you need to remember in game. Next thing is to know all about the characters you're using. Read all the traits carefully and know where you would apply them in game and can take advantage. Know the counters of your character. Let me give an example. Zoro is a counter of film Red Shanks. Now that's because he has a trait to nullify buff state status effects of the enemies. This means he can remove the hacky state of Shanks. Without hacky, Zoro can destroy him easily. That's how you need to fully understand your character to use him at his full capacity. Pick a fight with those whom you know you can beat without taking much time. If you want to know the counter characters of meta EX characters, I have uploaded those on my channel. Do check it out! So, I have covered all my points that are important. Remaining all things I have already told in my previous videos regarding medals and everything, do check it out. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.